What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, man, in our last episode, we beat the Nets in overtime. Then we lost to the Rockets. And then we lost to the Sacramento Kings. We are still on the road. The Kings game was our first game on the road. Then we got the Clippers, the Nuggets, and the Jazz on the road as well. So today we're going to be taking on the Clippers. And then we're going to be taking on those Denver Nuggets. So we just made a big-time trade with those. A three-time, three-team trade, excuse me. We had Evans, who came from the um nuggets we also got jr smith who came from the nuggets and he picked up matt barnes from the warriors and the warriors also had to give up uh jalen rose he's on the nuggets now but they got a whole bunch of orlando magic on the warriors led by jj reddick but look at our guys out here firing on all cylinders get it to o'brien he's also a warrior ex-warrior now orlando magic and then look at the little pull-up game by jameer nelson he's playing with a broken finger but it doesn't seem to phase him one bit. And then look at Turkaloo. Over three defenders. You don't see that too often. But he then did it. And then kick it out for the buzzer beater. And Nelson knocks home that three to end the quarter. So 27-21 is the score. We forced a turnover. That's what we do so well with this new revamp squad. I wanted a lot of defensive guys. Or these guys that can play defense when they want to. And these guys want to play defense often. Tony Petit gets inside. And then give it back to Tony Petit who also dominates the inside. One more time, Tony Batie. He's going to slam it down with the left hand hammer. We're up by 10. 33 to 23 is the score. And then I was hoping for a dunk. He pulled up, but he still knocked it down. But you can just see the on-ball defense is much improved with the squad. And then JR Swish, though, knocks it down. Matt Barnes, he can knock it down as well. We got a bunch of guys who are 3 and D guys, technically. But they're pretty darn good. Bogans, he gets the steal. And then he's going to get the easy deuce to go with that right hand hammer. And then the two-hand flush by Dwight Howard. Stevenson, he's going to pull up in your face. And he's going to knock it home. It's so beautiful. 51-34. to 34. You can't leave Turkaloo open from downtown. 54-34. to 34. Just dominating. And we can dominate inside. So three-point shots working. Only thing that we lack. Is really pulling up in the mid-range area. We can shoot the midi, but usually off of a catch-and-shoot scenario. Third quarter action now, and we are just absolutely giving the Clippers the business. We get it inside to Dwight Howard, and Dwight Howard continues to ball out. Tony Petit, get it outside. That's not your game, but that is J.R. Smith's game. Knocks down the deep shot. We're going to kick it over to J.R. That's a three-pointer. He gets that one to go as well. 79 to 54. J.R. gets it inside. The, that defense is not going to get it done. When JR is hot, he is hot. He is a streaky shooter, to say the least. That one by Matt Barnes is going to fall. Fourth quarter, we're almost up. Oh, that's just nasty. The windmill finish. I was going to say we're almost up by 30. We get this N1, we will be up by 30 with the windmill over two Clippers defenders. Oh, my gosh. That's absolutely filthy. 117 to 81 is the final score. Yes, the Clippers, they are who we thought they were. Dwight Howard, 20 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal. He is your Jordan player of the game. The rest of the squad did their thing. We shot 60% from the field, 12 of 20 from downtown. The Clippers were a perfect 3 for 3 from downtown, but it wasn't good enough. They're also 10 from 11 from the free throw line. We, we, we struggled from the free throw line from time to time. We were 5 of 9. JR led the way with scoring 24 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist, 1 steal, 1 block, and the 1 turnover as well. Nelson with 15 points and 9 dimes. Mobley, 25 points for the Clippers, 6 rebounds, Two assists, one steal for him. And then, of course, Elton Brand, 19 points, four rebounds, one assist, one steal as well. Kobe Bryant, he is your leading scorer in the NBA today, okay? He is averaging a bunch of points. Dwight Howard just on the outside of the top rebounders. He's number six. Want him to be a top five type of guy. Nash is the leader in when it comes to assists. Beardrich, he is the, he is the blocks leader with 2.1 blocks per game, believe it or not. And then the highest percentage for three, yeah, we know this guy well. When we played Minnesota, it was... Yeah, it was a lot of shooting the threes and a lot of them threes going in. So let's head to Denver. The Nuggets are 14 and 20. We're 17 and 20. So we're kind of in the same 
I don't know, situation, same boat as these guys. A much better team than maybe we're playing so far, or, you know, displaying so far. But we look to change that, and I guess Denver's going to try to change that as well. Now, the best thing about the trade that we made, we are a lot deeper than a lot of other teams in the league. So, Anthony, he's going to line that one up, and they're up 5 nothing. AI. Carmelo. These guys can ball out, but so can Trevor Ariza. Okay, he can't ball out right there, but Turkaloo, he gets the rebound, and he's going to put it up and put it in for our first two points of the ball game. Nelson, he's going to try to get busy, gets it inside to Dwight Howard, and Dwight Howard going to do his best job of scoring, which is just dunking. Okay, dunking. No, no hooks, no fadeaway jumpers, just two hands for safety. Yo, feel me? Little spin move can be too light. You are too light. You're a good defender, but you're too light. Dwight Howard, too powerful. That's an easy. I'm going to just get around you and then dunk this one in. I don't know how we didn't block that shot. AI's like 5'9", I think. Maybe 10, maybe 11, but definitely not 6 foot. There goes Turkaloo from downtown, and that's going to fall. 9-9 nine to nine is the score. Ariza to Nelson. Nelson picked up by Atkins. We're going to get this thing inside, and that's just too easy, but no. We get the better look, and then we, we didn't get the better look. So just do what you got to do, Dwight Howard. Lay it up and then off of the miss. Do it yourself, okay? You got to do it yourself from time to time. You get the miss, you lay it back up, and you lay it in the hoop. So the Nuggets, they're trying to cut down into this league. It's only a two-point ball game, and there goes Nene. Going to tie it up just like that. Nice little turnaround jumper there. But then Nelson, he gets the shooter's roll, and it's 18-17. to 17. Nelson gets it inside, but we turn it over. Melo. Up to Atkins. Atkins to Allen Iverson, and he lays it up over all the Orlando Magic. And now Denver has the lead. But we got our man AI in the air, so you know, Deshaun Stevenson, he will pull up from the mid range, and that's going to rattle home again. It's not, it wasn't a swish, obviously. He does that. No, he does not do that there. So he misses that shot, and then Allen Iverson picking cherries. He's going to lay that thing up and lay that thing in. So we're going to go for the mid again, and Stevenson's like, we can shoot the mid range. Yeah, kind of, sort of, not really. JR in the lane, gonna knock that one down with the hammer. That's what I like to see. So athletic, so good. He can shoot the three, he's athletic. The only thing he really doesn't have offensively is great passing and obviously a handle, but his handle is good enough to get around most people and his passing is good enough where I can work with it. That's a good steal by JR. Yo, he is crafty. He is crafty, look at him. Back-to-back -back buckets in less than two seconds. You love to see it. And then Jalen Rose. He's been traded twice this season so far. He was on the Warriors earlier, and now he is on the Nuggets. And he did not start off the season with the Warriors as J.R. Smith knocks that one down versus old mates. And then Iverson, Allen Iverson, lays it up and in. That's too easy, big fella. Then Nene with the turnaround jumper. Nope, Matt Barnes' defense is too sticky-icky. He's going to get the rebound after that good defensive effort. They're going to just wait for Dwight Howard to cut to the basket. Perfect little pocket pass. And we get that one to fall easily. We are up by 10. Then Mello was like, shut your mouth. We coming back. We're only down by 8 now. And I'm like, we got Dwight Howard. And Camby can't stop him. Camby is not going to be able to do that. Okay, the slim man. Okay, the Bambi man. He, Yeah, he's not doing that. Okay, but Carmelo is doing that. Knocks down that midi. We're going to get that thing inside Dwight Howard. Look at the moves. And it takes two to jump at him. And he still won't miss. He still won't miss that thing. And then I'm just giving up an easy basket. Don't leave your free feet. You got Dwight Howard. Why are you jumping at that? This plays solid defense and the guy's going to miss. And then Iverson breaks me down and he's going to score pretty easily right there. So it's a six-point lead for us. We get the ball to Evans. The X-Nugget kicks it out to Ariza. The midi is going to fall there. There goes Turkaloo. He gets denied by Camby. He's like, I can play defense. I can. Atkins. Gets it to Mello. No, that's Rose, excuse me. I saw the headband, double-digit number. I thought it was Mello. Nope, that was Jalen Rose. And now the lead is cut down. But we switch sides. Second half action now. And we're going to use their basket like they were using the basket to score. So 61-55 is the score. Nelson. Ariza has it. Ariza to Howard. Howard, Mello, you best get out the way. We know. We know. Defense is not what you get paid to do, but my gosh, you got to put in a little bit more effort than that. Atkins off of the backboard, gets to the fall, and then, yo, Kenyon Martin, no, you ain't stopping Dwight Howard. You're not doing that. The whole squad can get the business. Allen Iverson lays it up and in, though. That's absolutely filthy. One of the best offensive players of all times. All times, I tell you. Then Kenyon Martin knocks down 
the two-hand hammer plus the foul. Melo in transition. Oh, flop. He just floating over everybody. He flew. I, 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 I saw him. He flew. I'm telling you, that man got wings on his back like his Red Bull. Then we're going to kick that thing out. Ariza, little short jumper. That's going to fall. Whenever we, whenever we draw the double team, let's kick it out. Somebody's open, and we got shooters. You feel me? We got big-time shooters. 71-68, so Nuggets are making a little bit of a run. We get it inside the Turkaloo. And Turkaloo slams that thing home. In transition again. This time Trevor Ariza going to bring it back out. Gets it inside to Howard. I saw Allen Iverson on him. And we know Allen Iverson, he can read those passing lanes like a cornerback. But we're going to test him versus Howard. And then Turkaloo left wide open. Went and knocked home that jumper. And it's 77 to 68. We get the steal. Ariza getting busy inside the lane. And that's going to fall. It seems like everything we do seems to work. Stevenson. He gets the Tony, but T with the reverse slammer jammer. 30 seconds ago here in the third quarter in the double clutch jam. Oh, J.R. Smith. I bet the Nuggets wish they still had you because all these points you putting up would have helped them today. They cut the lead down to nine. Then J.R. in your face, Allen Iverson. Then Matt Barnes like, I got a little dribble too. Nice move there. He's going to get that thing to fall. 97-88. Melo. That was nice. That was very, very nice. I had to leave that in there. He went behind the back and then into a junk, a, a junk, a dunk attempt. We were going like it was some junk, but it was not. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. We knocked that one home with Turkaloo. We get the steal. Dwight Howard, coast to coast, big man with the ball. Get out the way. You're too small. Minute on the clock. We turn it over. They're only down by eight. Aurora, he was an ex magic. Now he's a nugget. He was in the trade also. It was a, a, it was a big trade. If you missed it, go check out the last episode. Kenyon Martin, he gets some good fortune as it goes to him. And then Atkins, can he knock it home? No. Mello, he has it. Can he get it to fall? Yes, he can. So we go to the line. We make the first one. We would miss the second one. So 113 to 106, that's one area where I do miss the heck out of J.J. Redick is when it comes to these foul shots late in the game when we know we're going to get fouled and we ain't got J.J. to help us out no more. Nene, can he get it to go? No, Howard with the rebound. Two seconds, one seconds, no seconds. That is going to do it. So, ladies and gentlemen, 113 to 106 is the final. Dwight Howard, 32 of them things, six rebounds, two assists, one block, and one steal. Turkaloo, 22 points, three rebounds. And then J.R. Smith, 20 points versus Old Squad, three rebounds, two assists. And he also had two steals. Iverson led the way for the Nuggets with 29 points. That's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of the day. Peace, love. Hot sauce.